Welcome everyone to the problem analysis of daisy mazes, maybe one of the toughest problems of this year's work. In this problem, we have a graph, we have edges, and we have color on edges. Daisy can move in this graph using uh, the edges with the condition on the stack. So here she moved from 0 to 1 using a green edge, so she added a green card on top of her stack. No, she can move to node 2, adding a red card on top of her stack. Here she has a choice, either a red edge or a blue edge, but because her top card is red, she will go to node 3 and discard the red card. Then she continues, adding her red card, discarding the red card, and now she has a choice of two passes, one red, one blue, and she can decide to take the blue pass, adding a blue card, and go in node 4. The question is, what is the minimal stack, I mean the minimal size of a stack that allows you to go from node 0 to node 4. We can consider the graph of configuration. In this graph, nodes are pair of a room and a stack, and there is an edge when you can follow a valid transition from one room, one stack to another room, another stack. Our problem boils down to finding a path in this graph from a node 0 stack 1 to a node n-1 stack 2 such that the size of stack 1 is minimal. Using tricks, we will be able to simplify this problem. The first trick says that we ask that the path end in the node n-1 with the stack 2, but we can actually ask that the stack 2 is empty by adding some paths, some doors on the last node, and those doors will discard any card remaining. So we are happy, we can end our path uh, in a specific node instead in any node that is uh, in room 4. Then the second trick is a bit more hard to see, but by adding some special nodes at the beginning that will add cards to our stack, we can limit ourselves to the case where the stack 1 is empty. And here we will not only look for a pass from 0 to 4, but from 0 to 4, and if we find such a pass, it means that a stack empty is possible. But if we can go from minus 1 to 4, it means that a stack of size 1 allows us to escape, and from minus 2 to 4, a stack of size 2, and so on and so forth. However, there are too many possible stacks, and in the middle of a pass, we don't know that the stack is very small, contrary to what we did to the beginning and the end. Hence, we have too many nodes in our graph and configuration. So we need a new trick to limit the nodes. The new trick is to consider the set T of triples of a color, a room 1 and a room 2, such that there is exist a path from R1 to R2 that never uses the color C when the stack is empty. And this set T can be obtained as a fixed point using the following rule. The first rule says that uh, you can always stay in the same place. The second rule says that if you can go from A to B and from B to C, then you can go from A to C. The last rule is a bit more complicated and you need to have understood deeply the problem to understand it. It says that you can use a C color door, then a pass that never discards the color C that you just added, and then you finally discard it.